Good morning, guys. Welcome back to Fishing with Norby out here on Gunnersville. All bundled up. It is cold. 38 degrees. It's not freezing, but it's cold. Sunrise just coming up. Look at that, guys. God is so good to us. Beautiful. I'm out here today with Trey. How you doing, man? Doing good. We're going to try and catch a few. It's beautiful out. It's beautiful out. And let you on a little hint. We just caught one. You're going to see it in a second. It's a stud, but we're out here fishing, trying to figure out these winter to springtime transition bass here on Lake Gunnersville. This fish is, I mean, this place is loaded with fish. They get everywhere. If you want to fish out deep, you can find fish out deep. You want to fish uh, shallow, you can find fish shallow. You want to fish mid-range, edge of grass, 10, 12 feet deep, you can find fish that, that deep. But the fish are few and far between. You got to run into little pods of them. Sometimes they're scattered out. They're still a little scattered out right now. But usually you run into one. There's more in the area. And there's a lot of dead water this time of year. And then, this time of year, they only feed a couple times a day usually. So finding those feeding windows is crucial, especially when you're in a tournament. You want to be where the fish are when they're feeding. So if you find them in practice, try and hit them early in the morning or midday. Usually between 12 and 2, they feed again. But we're gonna try and find them out here early. Let's get them. Well. Yeah. Get off my hole, I'm supposed to have the lake to myself out here today. <laughs> no, just this Missouri fair weather fisherman. What? Got one, bro. <laughs> you good luck, man. I called you up. Who you got with you? Nice. Uh. Watch out. The dream team showing up for the old rattle trap here. Your good luck. I don't know if you can see it from there, but I'm holding up a three pounder. Yeah, that's first one in the morning. Yeah, that's crappie. What? Crappie? Yeah. Three pound crappie. There's no bass here. No, we're gonna go try and find a few. Sounds good. Good luck, guys. Alright, see, see ya. Hey, that'll work. Make sure he takes care of it. Man, look at that sunrise. That's pretty. That's beautiful, guys. God is good to us this morning. So good to us. Just out here throwing around the little mobling rig. Fan casting it out here in the ditch. One so far. I want to run into a little pot of them, but not happening yet. So I'm going to keep on going. But that's beautiful. One down here. This mobling rig. I got a big curly tail grub on it just to throw something different. The cool thing about this rig though, it's linked down below. You squeeze it together, you slide that O-ring down, and it packs it up for you at the end of each day. And this is a five-arm rig, and this is the five-arm finesse. It's got a little bit smaller wires, but they make one that's a mobling extreme with a little bit heavier wires, depending on what you're wanting. I'm tangled up right now. A braid will get you. Pretty good deal on too. They're only like 12, 13 bucks. Your email. <laughs> Not the fish. Got one, bro. Keep them down. The boat's right there. Are they looking? Yeah, they, they saw him already. <laughs> boat's staring at me, guys. We're going to make it subtle, though. We're going to make it subtle, though. Even though they, they saw it, but they don't know how big it was.
There's one. Got him. Boats on both sides of us. Told you that's right where I wanted to fix this thing. Boat right in front of us. Man, I don't want to pull him in the boat. I got two boats looking. Just do it real quick, I guess. Baby. See ya. Let's go. Ha <laughs> ha. 24 feet. Drum. Big old drum. We found a school of drum heads. Here. Dude's just staring at us. <laughs> you want the pliers? <laughs> Gosh, dude. I'm glad you caught one of them so we didn't sit here and fish for them for 30 minutes yeah. thinking they were bass. Got one, bro? Get him. No way. Dude. Yes. No, nah, you're water. good. You're good. Nobody's even looking, man. Heck yeah. Three pounder on the blade bait. Dude. You want to pick on him? Yeah. There's those pliers. Or I'll get you pick first. Nice. Hold him a little closer to me. There you go. Ready? Got it. Nice one, man. Thank you. That's a three and a half. All right. That's my PB. Is it? Yeah. Ever? Yeah. Oh, Dude. well, no. Okay, on, on Gunnersville. Hey. It might be ever. That's awesome. Uh, Okay, Trey and I had a great time out there, had a blast fishing. Found a few little things for the upcoming tournament here on Gunnersville, MLF Toyota Open. So we're doing a little pre-fishing for that, kind of in advance here, but I'm excited for it. We're going to be out there. I don't know how much fishing I'm going to do pre-fishing this coming week, but then the Toyota starts. I'm excited. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. We're going to get out of here for the day. God bless you. Go catch some wintertime bass. We'll catch you next time here on Fishing with Norby.